Hello, I'm Carmel Leitz from Australia. Welcome to my presentation for the 14th World Piano Conference 2022. How to overcome overwhelm so you perform at your best. I'll begin with a quote from Frédéric Chopin, pianist, performer, teacher, composer, whose wisdom shines through in his sayings. This one seems appropriate as it reminds us of the ultimate end purpose of music performance. Simplicity is the final achievement. After one has played a vast quantity of notes and more notes, it is simplicity that emerges as the crowning reward of art. By way of contrast, I'd like to give my explanation of overwhelm and how it can affect us. Overwhelm is the complexity of our perception of being on overload, mentally, physically, emotionally, when whatever is happening to us suddenly seems too much to bear. When overwhelm strikes for any number of reasons, it can sometimes appear like a shockwave through the body, causing us to feel, at worst, frozen with fear, or at least drained, debilitated, insecure, anxious, and concerned about our capabilities. Naturally, this complex state of overwhelm affects our mindset and our performance ability. The relationships between overwhelm, stress, anxiety, depression, and burnout cannot be denied. So it is paramount that this important topic be addressed holistically as it will be here. This presentation, accompanying my PowerPoint overview, which I hope you will see together, concentrates on how you can manage and overcome overwhelm for a performance presentation or project by using the following five-step process so you can perform at your best. Each one of these five steps reduces overwhelm, which means that the five steps together create the cumulative effect of overcoming overwhelm. The first step is to confront the issue and begin by addressing one's reasons for overwhelm for a work project. This is seen on slide two with the question, why am I feeling overwhelmed for my project? Outlined on slide two are common thoughts people have regarding overwhelm of their project. You can counteract each one of these concerns with positive strategies, which will all become evident in this talk. The second step is to clear the path to prepare, seen on slide three. Here are suggestions for what needs to be rescheduled to clear the path for a certain time frame, so that you can prepare your work in peace and in deep focus. Of course, there's always the surprise disruptions, but by clearing as many engagements and social media interruptions as possible, you'll have less stress and more focus. As you know, focus is such a prized ability in today's world of distractions and diminishing focus. It's up to us to keep nurturing it, to maintain and preserve it. All dedicated performing and creative artists are aware that focus is the driver of excellence. As Daniel Goleman's book title states, focus, the hidden driver of excellence. Having cleared the path leads to step three, seen on slide four. Envisage the performance or presentation. And this is by using the strategy of visualization otherwise known as imagery rehearsal, to envisage the end goal and all the sectional tasks involved to reach the goal. I believe that visualising is best done out of doors. So I'm giving you my coaching advice that I give myself and others by saying, push yourself out the door. And that's so that you can unplug yourself from all the technical devices. Relax mentally and physically to free up your mind so you can gather all the inspirational ideas you need. Did you know a synergy occurs between connecting with nature, enhancing your mind-body health and visualising what you want? 
That's because being in nature allows you to calm yourself from stress, anxiety and overwhelm. To let go and breathe deeply while walking and sitting in meditative moments. To regain focus. To have time out to re-energise. And to overcome mental blocks. To think creatively and be able to bring forth visualisation and imagery rehearsal so that you can see in your mind the big picture, the parts involved and how they all fit together. Visualisation is known to make the actual work easier to accomplish and that's because simulation has already occurred in the mind. The term imagery rehearsal for elite athletes brings together as many senses as possible and that is to sharpen their focus and enhance their performance. Of course, we can all do the same. For musicians in particular, imagery rehearsal combines the oral, tactile, photographic and kinesthetic senses for mental rehearsal and to give security in performance. At this point, I want to say that by deliberately not using the computer, cell phone and apps for visioning your event, you are keeping your mind sharp and focused on your own unique ideas and not being overly dependent on technology devices that can seriously weaken focus, memory and mind-body health with constant electromagnetic radiation. This EMR, as it's called, is happening as shown in MRI scans. The mental and physical health dangers of daily dependence on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology are detailed in my 2021 piano conference and that the presentation along with solutions. So it's worth looking at again. After this visioning exercise outside in nature preferably you will feel primed for step four, the process, stay process focused, seen on slide five, which is about the preparation and maintaining optimal focus for each task. This is part of my new view of performance to be regarded as an integrative part of the process of practice lead up performance. Rather than thinking of the performance as a separate entity something out there and as the tertiary students always gave me the impression as though it were a mountain to have to be climbed. This innovative view of music performance expressed in my thesis and books takes the pressure off the actual performance and when the process is driven by mind-body enhancing strategies the common feelings of overwhelm, stress and performance anxiety fade, giving rise to performance confidence as the outcome. This was experienced by all tertiary performance students in my academic trials and my clients since then. Staying process focused throughout one's preparation is simply an integral part of the overall process for performance as I intended, the overall process approach to performance. Regarding the task for preparation, the order won't be necessarily adhered to because of circumstances and sometimes certain tasks work well together. But a detailed framework can be effective for keeping you on track and of course it's essential to include realistic times to ensure that all fits together within the set prepar preparing preparation time. Remember that initial overwhelm concern? How will I be ready in time? That's addressed here in step four. The process, stay process focused. During all this preparation time, you need to remain vigilant about your mind-body health needs to prevent exhaustion by taking regular breaks for relaxing and refreshing your mind-body. My research revealed the importance of using health-oriented strategies for recovery breaks. For example, deep breathing, 
stretching exercises and healthy nutrition. Nutrition breaks are necessary to sustain energy levels, maintain a relaxed focus and keep blood sugar levels regulated, which in turn enhances mindset, mood and confidence in what you are doing, just with the feeling that you're feeling on top of things. Short breaks also allow you to step back to review your work in progress. Step 5 on slide 6 acts as the reference page showing my Mind Body Strategies program specifically designed to enhance mind body connections, mind body health, and performance ability. Suggestions for how, when, and where to use these strategies are seen in great detail in the books pictured on slide 7. However, if you need help to overcome overwhelm for any reason, please do not hesitate to reach out to me for personalised coaching, a session one-to-one, -one, so you can overcome overwhelm quickly and even retain this ability. In summary, reflected in all my work, which is holistic, is the positive realisation that by focusing on performance enhancement, with a process-focused approach and mind-body enhancing strategies, the negative aspects of overwhelm, stress and performance anxiety fall away and performance confidence is a positive outcome. This reminds us of the well-known quote, focus on what you want and not what you don't want. The final slide seven displays my two books and ebooks demonstrating how performance confidence is achieved without performance anxieties. The strategies program is now being used in other fields, general education and mind-body health management, including overcoming injuries, burnout and chronic fatigue syndrome. The concepts and strategies of my program are applied from sports psychologies mind-body connections model. Also their mental training approaches and their elite performance nutrition principles, all well grounded in Bandura's theory of self-efficacy. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and gained some fresh ideas from my new approaches to overcoming overwhelm and gaining performance confidence so you can always perform at your best. Thank you for watching this presentation and I wish you every success for the future.